first keys you need to do. You need to eat the food as high as quality as possible. If you can be all raw, that is wonderful. But don't fool yourself and think you can eat cacao smoothies in the middle of the night and think you're doing something special. Because you're not doing something special if you're doing that. If you want to do this the smart way, moderation, forget about that. Because I know people that say crazy things with that. Temperance while eating and all things is what will get you ahead. The last person I'm going to speak about is Dr. Fred Bishy. Dr. Fred Bishy is 80 years old now. So I have his DVD here and his book here. As I told you, uh, it's one of the greatest health books I've ever read. And I, I, I have an interview on YouTube. You can go to YouTube and just type in my name and you'll see all the, every day I have a different video. Did everyone sign the email list that went around? Where is it? I Oh, great. Okay. Dr. Uh, Fred Bishy is on my video show on YouTube. There's a four-part series with him, and you can see some of his great teachings. Uh, but he really puts it straight the way it needs to be. He's been practicing for a long time, and a lot of teachers that uh, practiced when he was around when he was younger, they didn't do too well, and he talks about why that happened. And it's for many of the reasons I'm saying here. And one of the first things Dr. Bishy told me when I met him was, one of the keys to health is, what you leave out of your diet is what counts, not necessarily what you add, and also the importance of daylight and darkness has on your health. Daylight and darkness has on your health. So these group of people here, now there's not many other people I couldn't mention, uh, but these group of people here are just uh, a group, go home and study them. And you'll see that the daylight diet works. It's what's been around, not for a hundred years, but thousands of years. The daylight diet is if you want to be natural and get back to health, is what you need to do. So stop listening to somebody that wrote the last health book that you're buying from a store that's only uh, six months old and start reading some books that are, are 600 years old. And that's worked and been proven to work. Track records mean a lot to me. A 200 or 300 or 400 year old track record means a lot more to me than, a, than some a uh, person who's been eating a raw food diet for two years and, and he calls himself a raw guru and he thinks he knows it all. We need to be un understand what's happening out here. So, we have to prepare ourselves to do a eat a daylight diet and uh, now because I don't want people to get up too late and get enough sleep, I want to get into uh, the stages of the daylight diet. There's three stages. And then we're going to wrap it up and then, uh, and then we're going to wrap it up again. And then we're going to wrap it up one more time. Then we're going to unwrap it. And then, uh, but, but, but how many people here right now, before I even go against this, are going to try the daylight diet? All right. With enthusiasm, how many people are going to try it? All right. Great. Wonderful. All right. So, stage one is the most simple. Eat as much as you want throughout the day. Do whatever you have to, just not to eat, either when it's dark outside or after 5 p.m. Simple enough. From the time you get up to the time you, from till 5 p.m. at night, stuff yourself so you don't have to eat at night time. That's not going to last a long time. That's overeating and I don't recommend it. It's not good. But that's stage number one to get yourself in a habit of not eating when it's laid out. Some tips to help you with stage number one is shut up your TV, especially at night time. Because there's nothing that controls us more than a TV set, and the advertisers know that, and that's why most of the commercials about eating and medicine for making us feel bad from eating too much, and so on. So stop watching TV at night time, and if you're going to watch TV, at least try not to watch things that uh, are going to twist your emotions and make you emotionally eat. Eat, eat more, more during the daytime, less at night. Relax more. Start getting better, start getting in a habit of sleeping at better times. That's going to help you adjust your schedule. Stage number two. Stage number two now is uh, you're going to get set meal times. Try to get set meal times and eat at the same time every day. Three times a day, two times a day, one time a day. But try not to eat more than three times a day and at the same time every day. So experiment that and do what time works best for you. Use those tips. And then we can continue to go to stage three. Stage three is not something we all need to stay on, but it's something that we should all attempt at some point to see how we like it. And then finally we want to combine all these stages and see what works best for us. But stage three is to try to eat only two meals a day and not eat uh, after the ninth hour of daylight and to sleep at the right times, to work at the right times, and do all the things I'm suggesting that before you walked in this room probably thought was impossible. 
But now hopefully you know that we can at least try to attempt it. Now, the good news is there are certain things we can do to help us. People ask me, do I ever eat at night time? Well, sometimes I might eat a little later, but I haven't eaten when it's dark outside for quite a while right now. But there are some things I do at night, some suggestions I might make. Uh, if it's even night time or later at night, having some water with the, some lemon inside of it is a good tip to help you. So it's water with lemon. Or if you want to even add some stevia, that might be a nice way. If you have to eat late at night, do not eat solid food, just eat liquids. But lemon water is a good thing. Another thing might be an herbal tea. Have an herbal tea. Now room temperature, you don't want it too hot or too cold. But herbal tea at night time, make sure there's no caffeine in it though. Because that'll mess things up. So you want an herbal tea at night time. Another thing that'll be very helpful, something I do, this, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to tell you something now that I haven't told anybody before, and the only people that know this are people that have visited me or, or stayed with me. And now everyone's going to know about it. Uh, but this has helped me more than anything else, not eat late at night. Oh, look at the time. i got to go. Thank you for coming, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> okay. That is very much simple. I call it peppermint water. Peppermint water. What I have is natural peppermint oil, and I put a few drops of this in some water, and it suppresses my appetite. Not only it also calms me down and helps me sleep, but it suppresses my appetite. One or two drops of this in an 8-ounce glass of water, or even a 16-ounce glass of water, not only at nighttime, any time, it suppresses the appetite. You know, and anyone knows, if you brush your teeth, sometimes you're not hungry after you brush your teeth as you were before. And sometimes we think, well, my teeth are clean, I just don't want to get them dirty again. But no, what it really is, is peppermint is a lot of, in a lot of toothpaste, and that's what suppresses the appetite. So peppermint oil really does help. So uh, you do that, a couple of drops of that. Uh, so that really helps. Uh, there are other things that can really help in a lot of quick tips. Uh, I'm not one to believe in many supplements, uh, unless taking a blood test and figuring out we need certain supplements, but there are certain things everyone can benefit from. Uh, enzymes and probiotics help keep us healthy, and if we're healthy, we don't tend to eat more than we need. So digestive enzymes and probiotics. Another great thing would be systemic enzymes, which I have here, uh, and, and that really helps keep the body clean and, and working, and they're not the same thing as digestive enzymes. Uh, and uh, chlorella and spirulina are green foods that we can take because we don't get enough uh, chlorophyll in our diet uh, and enough of the minerals, so that would help. But there's, uh, two, there's two, basically two vitamins that I see a lot of people having problems with today that we need to do more of, and one of them is vitamin D because people aren't getting out in the sun enough because they're eating up and staying up all night that when the day comes they're sleeping. And the other thing is vitamin B12. It's not just vegetarians, but Brian Clement at the Park of East Health Institute has done studies, so have Gabriel Cousins, so has Dr. Fred Bishy, and they're finding people are suffering from a vitamin B12 deficiency. And until you can figure out why or what, it makes sense to take a B12 supplement. And the Park of East Health Institute has, has, has created one that I, I've been taking and really feel is the best one out there. Uh, so that's all I really uh, would recommend to help us Put our body in a state where we can have the best chance of being successful at eating a daylight diet. We all have an opportunity to do these things and make this happen. Now there are certain ways to monitor our health and get good counsel how to do that. Uh, there are certain, certain uh, things we can do to make all this happen. But the key is you can make it happen. I want to ask everyone to stand up one more time. <clears throat> Before we close, I want to say one more thing about enthusiasm. It's so important and we need to keep up with it. It does make the difference. You can do this. Don't ever let anyone tell you what to do. We were designed to eat a daylight diet. We were designed to eat when the sun is out and we were designed to live when the sun is out. We were designed to be sleeping when it's nighttime. We were designed to be sleeping and cleansing when the moon is out and not eating at those times. We have adjusted and changed our ways to make that backwards. We can reverse that again. It might take some time. Some of us might do it much quicker than others. But we can start right now and try to make that happen.